You're watching News 8 Daybreak on Wood TV with Teresa Weekly, Donovan Long, meteorologist Matt Kirkwood, and Tom Hillen with traffic. Well, if you had a little pink on the face this weekend, I wouldn't be surprised. We had nearly 100% sun sunshine both Saturday and Sunday, and we're going to carry over that today. Here's a live view, Holland, just waiting for that spectacular sunrise to greet us, and you can see all is quiet. We'll gradually move inland, GVSU campus, and we'll take it right to the Grand Rapids area. Great visibility on this Monday morning. Ah, it's going to be a beautiful day. Now, temperature currently at 49 degrees in Grand Rapids. A little bit cooler as you wake, work your way to the north by a good 10 degrees up in Big Rapids area. 39 degrees, but as you work your way to the south, still holding on to a few 50s out there, such as 55 in Kalamazoo and 53 in the Battle Creek location. This morning is cooler compared to yesterday, at least most cases. And that's going to be a theme today, right on through the rest of the day. We peaked at, with a high of 76 in Grand Rapids yesterday. That was the warmest day in months. And I think t today's temperatures will likely come to kind of bump right up to 70 degrees, but not quite make it there. Uh, the wind is going to be lighter today. That's going to be a bonus. Right now, it's out of the east at 5 miles an hour. High pressure in control of the weather. That means another day chocked full of sunshine from beginning to end. But eventually, things will start to change as they often do in spring. This, that change uh, shows up on this future cast. Tonight, partly cloudy conditions uh, develop, and then we'll have an approaching warm front as this area high pressure slides right across Michigan for tomorrow. Backside of it, return flow sets up, and that's going to allow a warm front to approach the area. So increasing cloud scenario throughout the day on Tuesday. I think the best chance of some showers and thunderstorms will likely be during the evening hours. You can see 9 p.m. With this forecast model, good bet of that. And we'll continue with scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the rest of the night. I think we'll get a window on Wednesday, likely during the morning hours, where, where not much is going to happen. Then an approaching cold front in area of low pressure move right through, and that's going to give us a chance of showers and thunderstorms. You can kind of see the outline of this. This is a basically a classic outlook with a storm system moving across the central plains. Severe weather threat Tuesday will be to our west, but that changes on Wednesday with just a one out of five category. We call it marginal right up to the Grand Rapids area and points to the south. Eight day forecast after that system moves through, cooler temperatures will work their way back in and a, a dry forecast uh, for this upcoming weekend, but it's gonna be cool with even a chance of a few frosty mornings.